Okay, folks, welcome back. Today, uh, up here examining uh, my northern outyard, kind of checking things out for the uh, final inspection here of the winter. Um, we are the 20th of March. For us, winter is basically over here in uh, Missouri. We might get, you know, some other cold stuff, but hopefully the snow and stuff is over with. Over the last couple weeks, we've had some cold and ice and stuff but uh, I think we're pretty well through it uh, up here in this yard I've got 15 hives uh, they've all managed to survive the winter uh, that third one on the end down there uh, it's basically got a frame of bees I'm assuming they're probably gonna make it but they're uh, they're pretty small so they may not amount to much this year other than living but uh, I've got a couple other ones I kind of peeked in. Uh, this one, this big orange one right there, it's going to be ready to split really soon. It's already got like four or five frames solid of cap brood. So when I come up here in another three, four weeks, that one's going to have to get split right away because they're going to be wanting to swarm. Um, but uh, I've got a lot of other ones that look really healthy right now. I didn't really dig into them too much. They still had dried sugar from the winter on and uh, some of them had about half of a pound of pollen patty on there um, for the most part they pretty much eaten it all up here in the last month there was uh, two of them that had a little bit of hive beetle larvae in them so I kind of threw them out right now we've got pretty steady streams of pollen coming in um, so there's stuff going on around here in this part of the world the south of Kansas City probably uh, silver maple and willows going on uh, down where I'm at in uh, the southwest part of Missouri we've got some hen bit and stuff also coming on um, this next week looks pretty rainy and cool so they're not gonna be getting out of the hives that much that's kind of why I left the pollen on just because I know this next week's gonna be a challenge for them to get out and forage but uh, overall the winter survival rate I'm at 95% right now so that's the best I've had here in a couple years last year was at about 50% so I've had uh, 57 out of 60 survive the winter and a lot of these will be making splits from here uh, in the next six weeks or so six eight weeks so we'll really be expanding the apiary this year and trying to bump those numbers up to where I had it in the past, you know, well over 100 hives. But uh, had really good success this year with uh, the wrapping of the hives, um, putting the dry sugar on top, and uh, that sort of stuff. So, kind of the last couple years, the uh, the first winter I moved back here to Missouri, I had wrapped the hives just like I did this year, wrapped them up with the uh, insulated concrete blankets put sugar on them you know I had 80 plus percent success last year kind of uh, left them uh, open to the air a little bit more and lost quite a few more hives so uh, I think going forward I'm just gonna keep using this method it's been very successful here for me in this part of the world and uh, I'll probably continue to do that there's no reason to change what I'm doing if it works so um, in order for me to continue on, that's what I'm going to be doing. But I really didn't uh, want to do a video today with the wind blowing the way it is. Uh, hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. But uh, right now, you know, there we're starting to see some uh, queens getting active with the pollen coming in. All the bees are going uh, going pretty good. We're a couple weeks out from having any sort of dandelions and that sort of stuff, but the trees are definitely starting to think it's spring. Uh, where I live in the southwest part of the state, we're a little bit dry, so we could use some more rain. Try to get spring kicked off where it needs to go. And uh, get the flowers blooming and the trees and everything else, so that part's coming. Spring keep beekeeping is going to be on us before we all know it, and uh, we're going to be going crazy trying to keep up with what these hives are trying to do for us. So, hope everybody's having a good spring so far. Get out there, check on your bees when the weather allows, 
and we'll catch you in the next video.